What's going on, guys? Oh, JPS back for another video. <laughs> and I'm here with Stefan. What's up, guys? And Arturo, Mr. Flexer. <laughs> and today, uh, we're going to be <laughs> reacting to not why really best, okay, do the British drive on the left? Obviously, this is a difference because in the United States, we drive on the right. And uh, this comes with a lot of other differences that you want to think about. Uh, for example, in Britain, there's a, a big amount of roundabouts. So entering those from the left side, not as easy. Uh, especially since we're used to going on the right and then same way with, when you cross the street you have to look the opposite direction yeah i can so, see how that could be confusing that's it can so be definitely weird. confusing and cause some accidents for people who are first in britain who rent a car hop on the road and <laughs> are ill prepared yeah. and then also crossing the street honestly i got almost got hit a few times because of this when i was in britain mm -hmm. you just you're not that's you're crazy. not programmed to be looking that way so no, yeah, you're not used to forget about it yep but anyways Let's get right into this, guys. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, consider joining the Patreon. First link in the description for full reactions to British shows and movies. Let's get it. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, isn't the steering the steering wheel on the right side? Yeah, the steering wheel is on the right side With instead the of the left. left. So that's flip flopped. Okay. All right, I got it. It's like us. We drive on the right, but the steering wheel is on the left, so it's just the opposite. If ever visited the UK, it is hard to miss the fact that they drive on the left. Oh, okay. This can so be weird. quite disorienting, as yeah. around 65% yeah. of the world drives on the right. Have you ever wondered why this is? Why did the UK and most of its former colonies choose to drive on the left? The answer is a rather long and complicated one. Let us explain. For starters, it should be noted that the practice of driving on the left even predates cars. It all started in the Middle Ages, and perhaps even further back to in ancient Greece and Rome. During those times, there was always the risk of being attacked while traveling. Since most people are right-handed, they tended to travel on the left to keep their sword fighting hand free in case of attack. Swordsmen preferred to keep to the left, so their right arm would be nearer to an opponent. Okay. This that's, also that makes sense. Yeah. Tell me why this explains this in, in yeah, like 20... So guys, before we recorded this video, we, we watched or we watched part of another video and it was answering this question. <laughs> they were just it made it so complicated. There's these two guys in the car and they were just talking about like, oh, back in France and just going <laughs> flip-flopping through different... It was just so hard, incoherent and hard to follow. Yeah. And this video in the first like 30 <laughs> seconds or whatever explained what they were trying to do and like... Yeah. Three minutes. So. Okay. Now it clicks. This is a much yeah. That makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> it's the chance of the scabbard hitting other people. It was also safer to mount and dismount towards the side of the road rather than in the middle of traffic. There is some evidence that this practice of riding on the left may have even gone as far as ancient Greece and Rome, and that wasn't the only case of people traveling to the left. For instance, in 1300 AD, Pope Boniface VIII declared that all pilgrims traveling to Rome should keep to the left. So how did people ever switch to the right? Well, it turns out Napoleon preferred to ride on the right, and mm. so did Hitler. In fact, Hitler forced Czechoslovakia and Austria to switch to right-hand driving. However, since Britain resisted both Napoleon and Hitler, the country never switched to the right. One country that did not have to make the switch, however, was America. Although the U.S. likely started out riding on the left, as in England, the country has been driving on the right side of the road since colonial times. At that time, the country saw the use of large wagons that were drawn by several pairs of horses. These wagons had no driver's seat, and the driver sat on the horse at the rear left. Driving to the right meant the driver could see oncoming traffic, and it also made it less likely they would steer into a ditch. Although this has been the practice... We take cars for granted. Yeah, we definitely do. We don't have to think about any of this stuff. The car gets... Bumping around. Get, I mean, that was getting stuck in a ditch, yeah. Technology now that can, like, detect when you're close to a car. You got to stay in your lane and stuff. So. Yeah, sometimes people say, like, the times we're living in are so terrible and stuff, and then I think about, like, the Black Plague and middle ages and it's been a lot worse definitely definitely like, always, like objective we make our own problems though always, always. <laughs> since colonial times it was until 1792 and 1804 respectively that pennsylvania and new york made it official by regulating it many states then followed their example but the practice was cemented when henry ford put the model t's steering wheel on the left hand side of the car 
The mass production of affordable cars then saw many countries change their rules of the road. Meanwhile, in the UK, the massive wagons of the US weren't popular. Instead, vehicles in Britain were smaller and had seats for the driver to sit on behind the horses. As most people are right-handed, the driver would sit to the right of the seat in order to keep his whip hand free. This ensured that people kept driving to the left. In addition, 18th century London saw the introduction of a traffic law to make all vehicles on London Bridge keep to the left. This was in an effort to reduce collisions. The rule was then incorporated into the Highway Act of 1835 and was later adopted throughout the UK, making left-hand driving mandatory in Britain. The 20th century saw an attempt to harmonize road laws in Europe, leading to a shift in right-hand driving, but that didn't affect the UK. Today, there are around 78 countries and territories that drive on the left. Wait, so, wait, so like when you're there and you're walking, like, cause I know like when I go up the stairs, I'll go up the right hand side of stairs. So like, is it like that in Britain? Do you guys go on the left? Like, do you like, how does so, that, like, is it, or is it the same? I think a, a lot of the, it's hard because with stuff like that, people are always breaking it. Like when you're on a path, you know how in the U.S. we keep to the right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I honestly was thinking about that when I was walking on paths in, in London, like on a sidewalk and you're going to cross a lot of people. And I, I think it's, I, it's hard to remember, but. In general, I think I went walked on the left, and other people walked on the left as well. So it followed like whatever traffic right. was doing. Okay, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. But of course, there's always the per the bozo who's just standing right. in the middle <laughs> in front of everyone. Yeah, bumping but shoulders. Something I have, you know, you see these old cars. It's really cool to see these. Yeah. It I is. actually saw some of these in action not last summer, but the summer before when I was in uh, the Cotswolds, which is kind of southern. England, Southwest England kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Not too far Southwest, but there was a, I guess some type of convention or event going on where all the people had busted out their old vehicles. Oh, they, really? They look very similar to this. Wait, so people still own those things? Oh, yeah. They, really? they, keep they still them, drive. They restore them and keep them good. Yeah, oh, they probably don't dope. move very fast. I don't know about these ones specifically, but they look similar. They were just really old. And it's cool to see that still in motion. Mm -hmm. So that's some tradition kept alive, but... I wonder what would happen if you put a Hellcat engine in that joint. <laughs> <laughs> this man. God, the Brits aren't as big on that. Break like, that joint. Oh, yeah, they're not um, big on cars like that? They are, but not on, like, size and power. It's okay. more about Look, uh, style. Like, um, being economic. Being economic, okay. Gas is really expensive, so it's like $9, $10 a gallon over there, mm -hmm. something around there. So it's not driving's not necessarily subsidized, so... It's better to have like a small car that'll get you good gas mileage. Mm, and also a lot of the okay. roads are smaller because they're built for horse and carts, not today's modern large vehicles. So, yeah. so they see a lot of like there. subcompact. What'd you say? They still use a lot of like horses there. No, they don't really use horses. I mean, some people <laughs> ride around on horses. Is that, fun, I thought that's what you said. Like No, I'm saying when they used horse oh, and carts, they used horses. Oh, okay. the paths were built for that, which are much like narrower. Oh, wait, right. So they have to have smaller cars, some of them. Yeah, I know my I know my grandpa loves saving gas. Like he would literally put his car in neutral, save it. That's yeah. probably they probably be doing that over there. Yeah, the gas is so expensive. Or like turn it off, turn the car off at a stoplight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's why the British drive on the left. It doesn't seem like I I'm not sure which is better. Honestly, I think a lot of it's based on history and what's been done. That's yeah, I don't I don't really think anything's shows. really better. It's just kind of like what whatever it is. Yeah, whatever you grew up with. Yeah. But I feel like, yeah, I, I look you, I wonder, I actually wonder, like, if people go there and rent cars and they, and like, if they're more likely to crash. Definitely. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. There has to be a statistic. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. Um, but anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll catch you all in the next one.